Welcome back to Bear and Breakfast. As you can see, I've been super busy and I've pretty much done every quest except for the coins. I'm on 26,000. I'm getting there. I only really get like a couple of thousand a day though because a lot of my expenses go to staff. I am making a profit. It's just a little bit slow if I'm being honest. So we're at Pinefall. I have been building up Pinefall. The only problem with this area is there are loads of separate buildings which can become very expensive because every time you go to a new building you need new heaters you need new dining areas and all of that just adds up and costs even more money so I try not to build in like separate ones in this one I just put a museum down here I probably I don't know if I'm gonna build in these areas I might just leave them empty because it just doesn't seem worth the additional cost to run extra buildings so, so I don't know I don't know just yet I guess we'll have to see but this is my pine falls right now I went with this one I was actually trying to fit in a, a movie theater down in this corner but I don't think it's going to happen unfortunately so I'm just gonna have to like leave it like this I guess which is really annoying because I did not manage to fit a movie theater in this like in this area which I'm really sad about I really wanted to to put one in actually but never mind I don't think it's gonna happen so just going to leave it like this I think I think that would be good why can they not get in this room though don't know why that's a I don't know why that has that symbol there like that maybe if I just put another door somewhere like here I don't know why that that like fixes it in most cases so <laughs> there you go it's fixed um so basically I think I'm gonna have to put another person in there actually this is pineful let's go to pineful a second see if I can fit anybody in that room now no I've got no available bedrooms apparently oh I thought this one was empty it is empty I do not know why I can't put anybody in that room right now maybe I just have to wait until tomorrow I don't know it's a bit weird but anyway this is what I've done with pine falls I haven't really decorated it that much I could if I wanted to because I actually do get a lot of valuables daily now so I, I could and upstairs we just have I'm not finished with this room because I don't have enough resources to get a sofa. It costs iron nails and I've been using them a lot so I just ran out unfortunately. I've been trying to go to the, the junkyard daily to get stuff so I just need to just take a few more trips to the junkyard to fix this room. But other than that everything else is like functional and working. And like it's, it's going really well making money so yeah it's going good. But this is all I've built here. So I'm not too sure. I don't know. Like a part of me wants to build in these other buildings, but another part of me is like, oh no, it's just going to cost so much money that it's just not worth it. So I don't know. A little campfire down here for the residents to use. And I've also built up Winterberry as well. I will show you Winterberry in a second, but mostly I would say that I haven't put as much effort into Winterberry and Pineful, I guess like... I don't know I guess I like spent so much time building them up to like the point that they're at I don't know if I want to do any more on them I have no idea but this is what Winterberry looks like I can't remember how many bedrooms I think I got quite a few actually I got one two three four five six seven eight nine on the bottom floor so quite a lot of bedrooms actually and the bedrooms are all, they all have bathrooms, they, they all have heating, they all have food. So everything is functional. I also got a couple more bedrooms up here. So 10, 11, 12 bedrooms in just this bit. We also have a movie theater, a lounge, a dining room here, and that's just the kitchen. So yeah, um, there is also another building over on this side, but I don't think I'm going to use this one because it's just going to get too expensive with all the, all the staff that I would have to hire so I just don't think it's worth it so I'm not gonna bother with that so yeah um I guess I could like turn my quest in whilst I'm here so let's do that is the job complete yes congratulations yay higher payout and we have another quest here let's accept this one build one level two lounge and host two guests with lazy bones traits I think I already have the lounge but a lazy bones trait I didn't know 
that existed. I don't know. So this would be in Winsorberry. What is the Lazy Bones trait? I don't even know. Is it the one with the lounge symbol on it? It could be. Like, I don't, I don't really know. I guess, like, we'll see. And that is probably going to be one that completes over time, I guess. So, so I'm going to go to High Lake now. I've also did the one where I have reached level 5 prestige in High Lake. I think last episode we did the layout together. And I finished off decorating it and all of that stuff. So this area is looking really good as well, actually. I've put a lot of work into this one. I decorated this one really nicely as well. I also wanted to put like some different furniture items. So we got like a little, a little, I don't know. It's, it's a gacha machine, I think. I actually thought it was like bubble gum, but apparently it isn't. We got this cute little Hank teddy bear little decoration thing. These are really expensive decoration items, which is why I've only just like started using them in this area <laughs> they're really expensive that is like a little t-shirt rack and down there's like a little it's like a wheelbarrow with like little plants on it's really nice that is like that's a wine barrel hidden in the corner we have a nacho cheese lamp which looks really cool i really like that we got a popcorn machine in like the entrance way and like a vending machine and that's a little postcard thing over there and upstairs there is a few more bedrooms and stuff nothing too crazy up here my, my kitchen this is my main kitchen that i always use if i want to if i want to do some cooking i always come back to this one because the other kitchens that I have in like the other buildings, I just put like bog standard stuff in. So just wanted them as small as possible. But that's how I've done done this one. I think it's looking really good. I think we've come a definitely a long way. Everything is functional and making me quite a bit of money. So it's, it's making me a lot more than before. So yeah, it's great. Okay, the job is complete. Congratulations. Yay, the camping rating is essential in maintaining a healthy income. Is that one done? It is not. There is more. Okay. Build one. Level two campfire. Do you know what? I don't actually think I did the campfire in this area. That is something that I was going to upgrade. And then I was like, well, what's the point? So I never did. But now that we actually have a quest for it, I am going to build a much, much bigger one. Let's just go like this. This is big. 2,000 to to buy this but that's okay and we're gonna need level two campfire stuff i actually already built one of these in the the pines area so i already did have a level two one over there just mostly need a lot of chairs and stuff so that's okay so level two there's a hot dog stand which is quite nice we got a load of chairs here i don't know if the table went in i hope it did or it might have gone into it might have gone into here. Yes, it did. It's not a table, it's a campfire. That's what I meant. <laughs> okay, I'll just leave that in there a second. And we will build this up. I just wanted to have like quite a bit of room. I'm not sure if I needed it this big, actually. It could save myself a bit of money by removing some of that and making it a tiny bit smaller. It's just like a waste of money basically. Oh, maybe not. I don't know if all these chairs are going to fit in actually. <laughs> these chairs are not going to fit in. I think it needs to go out more instead of like, I think it was going out the wrong way. It needs to go out like this way instead of like to the left, I think. So we'll try it. We'll try it like that. There's a mushroom in there. I like that. <laughs> It's added flair. It's added texture. <laughs> That's cool. Alright, I like to uh, fill up the whole thing. I don't know. I guess it just looks good to have like the whole thing. Chairs all the way around. And I got loads of these materials anyway. So it's not a big deal. I think I need one more. Let's do one more here. Alright, looking much better. Don't you think? Is there not room for one more? I thought there was room for one more. Nope, the whole thing is already full. There you go, there's the campfire. Looks good, apart from the tree, kind of blocks the, the view a little bit, but <laughs> there you go. So we got that, we just need a guest with lazy bones for winterberry and guest with bird watcher traits in this one, which I'm pretty sure I've had those loads of times. It's just that you have to like do it again, basically, to get the quest to like do what you want, I guess. So that's a bit of a pain in the butt. 
I'm not even sure if I need any of these things. I could have just like deleted them to be honest, but never mind. It's fine. That was just a chair and um, um, table that I had left over from earlier, so I don't need to worry about that. Oh no! Oh, it does this sometimes. I've been soft locked. Basically, sometimes when you go into your stash, it like goes all weird. And then like you basically can't, I can't move. I can't do anything. You can see my bar down here is all like locked because something's gone weird. It's like a bug that happens. It happens quite a lot in this game. Okay, the only way to fix it is to like reload the entire game again, which is really annoying. I just uh, lost a tiny bit of progress, so I had to make the camp again, but that was literally it. I didn't lose that much, so I was actually quite, quite lucky. Let's hope it doesn't do it again whilst I'm going back in here. <laughs> it should be fine. It usually doesn't do it like twice in a row, but yeah, I get this problem quite often when playing, so there's still quite a few bugs that need ironing out definitely i hope that they get round to doing that soon i hope so so uh what else are we doing i think that i don't have too much more to do uh what's this one pineful so if i go to pineful i can finish up this quest as well i just kind of like want to see what optional things you get because like when you do these quests you get these like little collectibles and i kind of like collecting them so i kind of i want to get them but i guess it depends on on how we do here all right the job is complete all right oh there you go pleated beige pants what does that do i wonder i'll have a look at that in a second all right what's the task for this one 50 guests in pineful oh my god that's gonna take forever okay what did i get um pants beige pants wait was it an item was it just like oh was it literally just like new it was new pants I see. I think that goes with the business suit set. I'm pretty sure. So this would go with this set. Hold on a second. So if I if I go into my inventory. So now like I'm looking like a proper bed and breakfast owner. <laughs> Instead of like all casual. So you can be casual or you can be like businessman. I mean business bear. I mean. <laughs> I like it. I like I like the business bear look. Looks good. Looks very good. Okay, we're just gonna move this up here. I'm gonna I just wanna I wanna put the clothes together. So try just trying to move things around a little bit. Alright, there we go. We're going for the businessman look. Looks very nice. Very nice indeed. <laughs> very cool. Uh what else have I got to do? So uh I got a quest for Charlotte to turn in. So we'll go and do that as well. She would be down. I think sawdust would be the fastest way to to get to this one. So let's go see if we can do that. That would be amazing. Curious to see how much money we would make tomorrow as well. And this is probably going to be like uh, something for an exhibit. I would assume she like Charlotte seems to give you a lot of exhibit items. So maybe for my museum. I want to build some more little like podium things for my museum, but I need to get some more iron nails. So, so I'm sort of like working on that. Right, let's go to sleep. Sometimes I crash on this on the sleep bit as well. So we're on 26,000. See how much that just went up to 32. That was not bad. That was a pretty good increase. I have to say it was good. Hi, mom. <laughs> it's been a while. I'm becoming a very successful business bear. <laughs> I hope I'm making you proud, mum. <laughs> I'm sure we are. Okay, I think it's not going to take long for us to get this money from Barbara. Just a couple of days, I reckon. But I guess we'll, we'll see how things progress, I suppose. All right, let's go talk to this crocodile over here. Hello. Got my hundred lease? Yep, every single one. Mmm, good. It's a shame that you're taking all of these magnificent artifacts I've been making for you. Why? Do you not want me to have them? And showing them off on tiny wooden stands like a cheap garbage garage sale. I thought she said garbage then. <laughs> hey, it looks good. Oh, she gave me an upgraded stand. Cool, take this. It should make everything pop. Okay. 
Nice. Oh, yeah, there's also another quest. Oliver had a quest as well. I noticed it when I was walking past him one time, so we could go and check that out too. Also, I figured out how to get to the beach. There is a beach area that you can go to. It's mostly just for, like, materials. You don't really get that much for it, so yeah, we're gonna go over there in a sec. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go to the junkyard on the way past, because I really need iron nails, because I have completely ran out of those. So hopefully I can find some. That would be amazing. Just take all the things. Fantastic. I go here quite often, so I know where all the good spots are. <laughs> all right, let's head down here and get these little computer parts. Very good. Another one here. Fantastic. There's one just up here as well. All right, there you go. Cleared cleared out the the junkyard so to get to the beach you have to go over to this side it says the beach side there's not any like new characters or anything like that here is literally just an area where you can like collect items and stuff there was like a load of uh, cloth in this area there is also this but you need a crowbar to get inside this metal gate that is probably an artifact i'm assuming but i don't know for sure so that's all that does and then this goes up to Whitestone Bay, it just links back up but I need to get some prospector gear to, to get rid of the rubble because there's some rubble up there and I just completely forgot to clear it out. I don't even know if I'm ever going to be taking that shortcut anyway so <laughs> I don't know if it's really worthwhile. I guess I could buy one whilst I'm up Oliver's just because I'll be up there anyway, so I may as well, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Why not? Okay, let's go and see what we can do. I wonder what this quest is with, with Oliver. I reckon there's got to be like some quest that gives us a crowbar and some keys for that cave because we still haven't gone over there. I'm not really expecting there to be much in there though. It's probably just going to be like exhibit items or something of that nature. It's not going to be anything like too crazy. At least I thought Oliver had a quest anyway. I don't know now. Prospector gear, please. That's what I'm after. Oh, I just had an auto save. All right, hello. Yeah, he does have a quest. Hey again, bud. Business is a boom in I suppose. I trust the games that were a great success, eh? Video games are pretty neat. They sure are. Well, I was thinking, there's a whole bunch of newer games that have come out since I was a kid. What they lack in that sweet nostalgia, they make up for in one thing players fear most. File size. You're right. <laughs> I do feel, I do fear file size, you're right. But if you manage to find one of those new golden discs out there somewhere, I can get you some really fresh games. Ooh, find the golden game disc. Oh, I've already got it. Apparently, I don't remember where I got it, but apparently I've got it. All right, bud. Got anything nice and golden? Sure thing. You aced it as usual. Alrighty then. As promised, here's my favorite one from recent times. The person who made it really likes to make you think, you know? Which isn't what I look for in a game, but they just get me. Oliver's tool box has new items and new items. Okay, okay. Quest, you've unlocked new... Okay, so like new game consoles. Have fun, bud. Okay, will do, my friend. So now they sell simulator simulator game. Look how much that is. Cobra dinner. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> Not what I was expecting, but all right then. Man, some of these quests are going to take absolutely forever. I'm kind of dreading how long that 51 is going to take. <laughs> like, oh my god. I don't even know if you're going to get anything worthwhile from it. I wonder if you actually would. Who knows? Who knows? Right, I got to sort out by my guests and stuff. I ain't got that many people to accept in that one, but that's okay. Most of them I can just dump in. Like, I got really high, like, rooms now, so I don't really have to, like, worry too much about, like, where I'm putting them and stuff. All right, that one's full. Now to move on to the farmhouse. I still don't automate these, mostly like with the guest check-ins. I like to do it myself. I think mostly just because it saves me a bit of money. And it doesn't really take like that long either. And I can just dump them in and it's just, it's fine. Okay. Let's see, where are we going to put you? 27th, yeah, you're fine. All good, all good. Going to keep the high ones in case we have another pampered guest. I don't think we do though. 
We got a 53 here. 54? Yeah, you could go in here. 54. I only just had enough for that, actually. So that was pretty high, I have to say. Put you in. Okay, that one's full. Now we got Winterberry. These ones do take a little bit more, like, looking through, but I should be able to put most of them in. 55? 34? Yeah, you can go in there. That's fine. I don't usually take the the like big food eaters because I don't put that much on my like in my bed and breakfast it's just like not really worth it I'll just take someone else it just doesn't seem worthwhile uh 33 on decoration so you could probably go in this one yeah you go in that one we got 33 on comfort so I could put you in there who else we got left we got two more to put in oh man I still got loads of rooms <laughs> 30, 13, you can go in that one, 27, comfort, so either one of these, I could probably put you in this one, I got two bedrooms left over, but it's not worth putting these in, because they take so much food, I only have eight in there right now, I thought I upped that, but I don't know what happened there, that should actually be higher, yeah, look, there should be, it should be on 16, why is it saying... Sometimes it like goes all glitchy for some reason. I don't know why. It, like only on, only on the food. The food gets like a bit glitchy sometimes. I have no idea why that happens. It's kind of annoying, I have to say. Okay, so what well, my bedroom's on in here? This one's fine. Yeah, this one's not glitched out, so that's good. <laughs> it drives me crazy when that happens. Okay, this guy wants a museum. I didn't know they had requests for those. I do have a museum. Oh, it counts. It counts. I didn't know that it would count, even though it was in a different building. Oh, that's awesome. I might have to make a movie theatre then. So I didn't think it would count because my museum is not in the same building as this Western cabin. So I thought it wouldn't count. <laughs> Clearly it does, which is really awesome. Apart from he wants 41 comfort, which is a lot. That's a lot of comfort, I have to say. Okay, I haven't finished building Pine Falls, so I'm still kind of like low on pine falls at the moment so um damn you want one more okay i might have to like do something about this this one's 23 23 so i could put you in okay anyone that's like low 27 you're on 27 i could put you in because you're quite low anybody else you're on 27 yes i could put you in as well okay i managed to fill the rooms but I, I do need to do some more work on pine falls it's not finished but it's looking good though it's looking good we're on thirty thousand on the money right now and i don't actually think i got any more quests to turn in right i don't think so anyways hmm i wonder if there's just like any more quests around or something I don't know we're on 21 right now I guess we could just go and build up pine falls a little bit that would be cool maybe it would help us a, a, a tiny bit that would be cool and maybe I can build a little bit more on the museum I wouldn't mind doing that actually that would be really cool but man it takes a really long time to finish this quest <laughs> we've been doing like building and stuff like that for like quite a few episodes now but it's fine i do like building up the the bm the like bed and breakfasts it's quite fun so museum so we did get an upgrade oh i might have to go buy it i have to go buy the recipe don't i i forgot about that so over here at voyage and we have simulator game recipe and marvel marble display wow that's cheap that's only a hundred for that one the game one was quite quite high why did it not disappear oh there you go that was weird unlock that one i think we got them all now fantastic okay so see if we can craft this oh look how much iron nails i don't have any i did go to the junkyard but i guess it didn't have any sometimes it doesn't so that's a bit of a, a pain in the butt so what else do people request let's see so sometimes they request movie theaters so i'm gonna go make a movie theater down here as well because i think it will still count people will still just come over here and still use it for entertainment even if it's in a different building so that's really cool i didn't know that they did that but i don't think they do that with like everything it probably just depends on what it is i think so we're gonna set this up here 
nice little movie theater. I'm gonna make a games room over here as well. That would be really good. Five by five, is that not? There you go, now it's big enough. All right, let's put the door over there. And I don't actually know if I've got any things in my storage for this. Let me just have a little look, see if I've got anything. I don't think I do. I'm gonna have to make, yep, I'm gonna have to make some more things. I'm gonna have to make some more little gizmos for this, but that's fine. So we want this stuff, right, so. I want to make a humongous screen and a couple of these, I don't know, like three or four would probably do it. We don't need to go too crazy after all. Okay, where'd it go? That's the question. <laughs> I don't know, I've lost it. There it is. There's the, there's the nice TV and here are the VIP rooms. Very nice. You know, this game really reminds me of like Theme Hospital or like Two Point Hospital, except from like you're running a bed and breakfast. It's really addicting to like build up the, to build up the areas. Like you build rooms in the same way as well. And I don't know, it just re it really reminds me of that a lot. It's good. It's cool. Um, and an arcade machine, right? We want an arcade machine as well. Uh, I probably want to move this door. I'm going to move this door over here put this in the corner like so and we'll have the arcade machine over here probably needs to be a bit bigger how about how about like that that seems good that seems good I like that and I just checked to see I did have a games room but I don't know what I did with all the stuff okay here's one of the here's one of the games is that the only game I've got that might be the only game I've got to be honest with you but that's okay. All right, let's put one in there. So it's got one game right now. Oh, here's the marble display stand. So that actually looks a lot better. I like that. Maybe I'll have a mix of both. That'd be kind of cool, actually. We're going to go and display what we've got on, like, in the museum. That'd be really cool. Actually, let's do that. So I took this feather off because I did have the feather on there, but it came off because I was doing stuff. We've got a giant mirror. It's looking really good. I can't wait to see this like done. It's going to be amazing. And I'm going to see if I can build any more, any more of these games. Let's have a look. Cobra Dinner. Can make that one. Do we have any more? I know I brought some outside this one. Okay, we got a couple of games here. Hopefully I'll be able to fill this whole place up and we're going to have like this really cool retro game room and it's going to look amazing. It's going to look so cool. I like this. I like the way they look. They look really cool. All right, let's put that in there. Do we have any more? Let's have a look. Hiding in my inventory. Space Invaders. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I have no idea. I like the floor as well. The floor is good. Is that like all of them? Like, I don't know if it is. I don't know if it's worth buying all of them though. We have the Cobra dinner, dollar per hour, day in the fields and outside machine. So let me just have a look. Do we have all of them? I think we're just missing a simulator simulator. I think we have everything except for that one. That's the only one we're missing. Do you think we should buy it? Maybe I should. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like so close. Oh, it's nearly time for bed so we can get some get some money soon. I spent quite a bit of money there as well. I'm trying to build up my money and I keep spending it. This area is weird by the way as well because if you go downstairs this this area has a basement. This is like the first area I've seen that has a basement. I just find that really bizarre, really strange <laughs> but it's kind of cool I suppose. I just like wasn't really expecting, expecting it I suppose and now we can sleep and see everything in all its glory because everything will be brighter and it looks good. It looks good in here. It looks awesome. All oh, right, I just earned like, I don't know, a couple of K or something. Nearly 4,000, I think. Not bad, I suppose, but it could be better. It could be better. All right, just, oh man, I don't think I have enough for you, do I? Not, not this one. Timber crossing is really hard to put people in. Like, it's really hard to house them sometimes because there's not much room in timber crossing. So I found it really hard to build that area up. So that, that area, sometimes I can't fit people in because just like how squishy it is. So, so it's, a, it's a pain in the butt. It definitely is. Okay, we got a pampered person in there. Got some hygiene peoples. That's fine. Most of these I can just chuck in because they will go like anywhere. So they're, they're fine. 
All right, there we go. We got some more people to house here. I think I need these bird watcher peoples, don't I, for my quest. So I will make sure to definitely prioritize these guys. That would be good. You are pampered, so 38. Man, I don't have any I don't have anywhere for you at the moment. So my bed and breakfast isn't perfect, but I can house most people. So like that's the main thing, right? That's the main thing. All right, there we go. That's High Lake done. Now we need to do Winterberry. Such a pain doing all of these. Also, it's impossible to get 42 hygiene. Or at least I don't have the recipe to make that go that high. Because with the best bathroom I have right now, I can put it up to 38. I think it was. I can't reach 42 on the stats. I don't know how you do that. So, so yeah, I don't know right now. Maybe there is a way and maybe I just haven't unlocked the unlocked the recipe for like better bathrooms but right now I'm unable to fulfill that task so I'm not I'm not putting those in like I try not to I try not to put those into my bed and breakfast if I can help it 53 I should have somewhere for you there you go you can go in there all right just a couple more people to house for this one. Oh, 22 that's close 22 yeah you can go in there we got this one 22 oh i hear people using the arcades <laughs> it's so cool all right let's have a look i want to see them using the arcades i still got more to do but i just want to see them using it um you're not even standing that looks weird <laughs> he's not even standing properly on it but at least people are enjoying they're enjoying the entertainment so that's great okay so i did these right so now we're doing pine falls Yes, we're doing Pine Falls now. All right, so I should be able to fit everybody in now. I think I have, oh, distillery. I haven't made a distillery. We need to make one of those as well. I'll make one of those in a second. So I haven't made one for this area yet, but that's okay. I'm sure I will. So uh, what are we doing? See, it's now got all of these like effects. So like my bedrooms have all the effects of like all these like, you know, buildings because they're nearby, which is really awesome. I love that. We have so many effects here, which is fantastic. Okay, so uh, yeah, I just need 30, 34. Yep, I got you. All right, 50. Oh gosh, 53. I can't put this dude in. That's okay. I'll just fit somebody else in for now. Let's see. I haven't quite finished building this up, so sometimes it's a little awkward to fit people in, but I'm getting there with it. I'm getting there. That one's a bit high. I can hear people enjoying the games. <laughs> it's really awesome considering like I only just built it and they're already going for it. Oh, I put that person in the wrong one. Oh, well, it's fine. <laughs> it probably won't affect it that much anyway. So it's fine. Uh, 27. Yep, you can go in there. Okay, that's that sorted. Uh, yeah, we need to make a distillery. We could make it underneath or I could make it over in this building now. Let's make it underneath. I think that would be a good idea. I'm pretty sure that guests can come down here. Don't know why there is a little underneath like area, but I'm pretty sure they can if they want to. So that's that's cool. I'm probably not going to build that much down here to be honest. Well, it's a bit weird having like bedrooms and stuff underground. Don't you think? I don't know if I like that idea. <laughs> it's very strange. Okay, so for the for this area we need a wine dispenser. We need the bar stores, and oh, I don't have enough for the table. Maybe I can get. So I really not have enough for like any of the tables. Oh, I need iron nails to be able to finish this building off. What a pain. See, I really need junkyard parts. I've like completely run out. So I've been using so many materials in this game that just haven't got enough. Right. Well, there's the, it's, there's the start of it. So like that's cool. I guess just need to just need to build it up a little bit more. Which I will do. Is there anything else that I like that I need to get? Like I'm not sure. Movie theatre, arcade, we've got campfire. I've literally got everything. I'm pretty sure I've got everything under special. Um once we build the distillery, we'll have everything under special. I think I've got like every single building type in this area, actually, which is really cool. I mean, after we have the distillery, we'll have every single building type, which is really cool. Oh, this one's done. Winterberry quest has finished didn't realize okay that finished really quick i have to say we'll go and see what other quests we we can do over there 
That would be really cool, actually. I wonder if there are any more quests around. I really want to know how to get crow the crowbar and the keys. I don't know how to do that just yet, but nothing has popped up for it, so who knows? Who knows? But this one is done, so that's good. Yep, the job is complete. Yay! Any more quests? There is another one. Get 25. That is a lot. That's going to take a long time, sadly, because it's current and I'd have to, like go from there and it just that's gonna take ages <laughs> that's gonna take a really long time okay we're gonna go down to the junkyard again see if we can find some nails because i want to finish off this distillery if i can that would be amazing but we shall see we shall see but yeah you can see the progress though so i remember i think last episode i was on like ten thousand money so i probably could have had it by now if i wanted to if i didn't like buy anything and i didn't like upgrade my bed and breakfasts and i just like left it it probably could i probably could have had the money i know that i've definitely had fifty thousand like multiple times but i just keep spending it so <laughs> I know I could have probably have finished the story and like the game by now, but <laughs> it's fine. I've just been enjoying I've been enjoying the bed and breakfast life. I've been enjoying the the high life with this cute little bear. He's he's been he's been doing me proud. He's been working very hard. Hank is a very busy, busy dude. <laughs> okay, hopefully I got some nails from that. I don't know if I did. Okay, it's just going to go over here, of course, but I don't need it to. So let's see. I can. I can build it now. So this should set this up. And I guess what we'll do is, because, like, I don't really know what else to do. I guess we'll just, like, do some decorating or something. Improve my rooms and stuff like that. Like, whilst we're waiting for stuff to happen. Because I don't really know what else to do with myself, to be honest with you. If I have to make frequent trips to the, the junkyard at the moment. Which is a bit of a pain, but it's okay. Would be nice if there were some more, like, side objectives around. I also have quite a lot on the decoration, like, score now. I heard a hiccup. <laughs> it was squeaky. I don't know if you heard it. It was, like, super squeaky. Oh, no, there's a mouse living in, in me or something. I don't know. Okay, so... We're going to head to South Cav Cabin, move down, and what we want to craft is this one here. I also would like, like some of these. They cost mahogany to make them, which is a bit of a pain because I don't actually have that many of those. But at least we have the table now and this should, should work out. All right, there we go. Just going to move this like that, like so. And I did get some stores. I just don't know where they went. It's a really annoying. Sometimes items just go wherever. But there we go. Now we have a distillery as well. So we should now have that effect too. Look at that. Look at all those effects. Looks so cool. I really like that. Um, so yeah, the next thing we should do is decorate a little bit more on the buildings, I think. I'm not really sure what else to do but it's it's looking fantastic i don't think i have enough to build any more any more podiums right because i really want to build up the the museum as well no I've, i need nails to build more podiums as soon as i get nails i'm gonna definitely build up this museum though so i think i do have some more quest items to go in there see we have a red feather that's quest that's not exhibit hmm i'm probably do i, I got i got this magnet so the magnet will go in there I don't know what else I've got that would go in there. Is it only the magnet? Have I only got those? Oh, the ball bearings can go in there as well. So I got two two more podiums that I could put in. And we could display some stuff in there. So like that would be kind of cool. Alright, so I'm just going to see about collecting some more of these valuables. Maybe I should turn this off at some point. It would save me some money. And like, I have so many of them gathering right now and i don't even think i really need i got six thousand of the stuff i don't know if i should turn it off or not <laughs> i don't know i'm getting like so much i'm getting so much stuff down here so we're going to decorate a little bit so that's going to be great that's going to be awesome going to make the rooms have a little bit more in the way of decoration at least this doesn't take money, which I'm kind of glad about at this point, to be honest with you. Um, a claw machine. Let's get a claw machine. Let's see, what else can we get? We can get pretty much anything we want. <laughs> it's great. A museum gift shop. Let's get that as well. 
All right. So I've already had this gold cupboard in a few of the buildings, to be honest. So I'm not that bothered. I think I've pretty much had most items. I can't think of a single item that I like haven't brought. Oh, the gramophone. Do you remember when I said I wanted that like a while ago? Now we can actually buy it. Oh, and also we could get a cozy fireplace because I haven't got that yet. I think I've got most of the other ones though. A stone fireplace as well. Let's get a, get a couple of fireplaces in here. A charming cupboard. We'll go for that too. So now I'm basically made of money. <laughs> like, I've <laughs> got so much. I don't think I've ever had this orderly wood pile. So I'm going to get that too. Just trying to mix it up with like items I've never used before. So I just, I keep like, I'm at the point now where I'm just like going through the same items. Because I've kind of, oh man, people are annoyed because of the, the junk. There is junk around here. I should really turn you on, huh? I feel like I don't really need it that much though. But yeah, he, he's going to work. <laughs> he he probably just got an absolute ton of stuff right there. Because there was, there was junk everywhere. Okay, it's kind of hard to see because it's night time. But we'll see. How late is, is it? Maybe it will just put the time forward so I can see a little bit better. Because it's kind of painful to um, decorate at the moment so i don't know okay these guys are like how did you both get in the room together oh he's stuck on the toilet he's like glitched on the toilet or something that's weird that's really weird if i do this will he move let's see if he'll move now all right there you go that is really weird i've never seen that happen with one of the one of the characters before very strange Okay, I don't seem to... Is that a bit close to the to the bath, do you think? Oh, wait, what? He just teleported on the toilet. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I don't even know. Something weird is happening. <laughs> Something very strange is afoot, I feel like. <laughs> oh my god, that's so weird. Okay, I kind of... I want to see people using the camp, this like new campfire little thing I got because it's much better now. It's new and improved. It looks amazing. It looks good. There were some really, really narrow corridors, but that's what you have to do in order to make the best use of the, the space in here, right? So that's the plan. Everything is set up really nicely and everything is, is going really well. I'm really happy with the bed and breakfasts and how they look. I mean, it's not... It's, it's not like fully done, but I'm happy with with our progress. I feel like we've definitely come quite far for sure. So it's looking it's looking a lot better than when we first started. That's for sure. So yeah, it's good stuff. Good stuff. All right, so we're nearly there. Nearly there now. Just then I can go sleep and we can decorate a bit better. It's so dark. I don't like how dark it is, and it's just like a bit of a pain to to see. That's all. Okay. There we go. And hopefully we'll get some nice some nice monies tomorrow as well. That'd be awesome on 27,000. We just went up to 34. Not bad. Not bad at all. 15,000 from 30 guests. That was good. Very good indeed. So of course I'm going to have to chuck some more people into my bed and breakfast is. But that's okay. We'll just sort this out really quickly. Shouldn't take too long. All right, I'll put you in there. We have a hygiene person. You can go in there. Who else? Yep, we can take you as well. All right, that one's full. That one's maxed out. Good stuff. Put you in there. Who else we got? We got a little campsite person. Oh, you're a bit high on the lavish. The lavish is very high for that character, I have to say. That's okay, though. We'll just take some other people's. That's the farmhouse done. Now we're on Winterberry, so... Going to accept some people over at Winterberry. 23. Can I put you in any, any like, lower ones? This 21, this bedroom number 4, I need to sort this one out, is so low. Probably shouldn't be that low, but it's fine. <laughs> I can probably fit someone in there. Maybe. Hopefully. 2632. It's actually on 20. It really needs to be improved, I think. <laughs> I need to do something about that. 1931. See, I can't even fit this person in either. 
What a pain! What a pain in the butt. 1534, can't even put you in there. So painful. I need to, yeah, I definitely need to do something about that at some point. Because they're going to be very unhappy otherwise. Okay, I'll just put you 49, that's high, I'll put you in there. Okay, 31, can put you in that one. Let's see, 28, 41. Um, I can't put this one in. She's way too high on the on the decoration. But you can go in there. So I just need to I need to go back to Winterberry and sort that, that bedroom out. I didn't realise that one was so low. But everything else should be fine. At least I think so. So that's good. Okay, 35. I think we can fit you somewhere. Can fit you there. Who else we got? 44, that's a bit high. We'll have to... I'll have to go back. Always press the wrong button, don't I? <laughs> Silly me. Okay, 25, 24, that's really low. Can put you in this one. That's good, that's good. 28. Yes, you can go in this one. I got one more person to house. See, there's actually quite a lot of like space for more people in this area. Maybe it could be an idea to put one more in. I don't know. What's the lowest I've got here? 37. 37 is the lowest I've got. So bedroom number seven could do with a bit more comfort in this area. Where is bedroom number seven? Don't actually. It's this bottom one. There's not much room in there at all to fit anything in though. That is like the only annoying thing at the moment. Okay, hold on. Be able to, if I get some planks, if I get some mahogany planks, I think I might be able to fit like a footrest in there or something. And I think that would maybe solve my problem. Maybe. So that'd be cool. Oh, we done the Birdwatcher one in High Lake. We done that quest as well today. So that's good. We are progressing with the quests so slowly but surely. So that's really good. I feel like we got to be close on finishing some of these actually we already finished with like the first two areas i think it was all right so there's that and i was gonna build one of these footrests i already got the the silk for it so i actually brought quite a lot of that out actually okay the question is is if i can fit this inside this building or not i'm not sure if i can i don't know i'll have to play some tetris or something oh i can fit it there Maybe if I move the door. I don't know. This could be a bit spicy. Don't you think? Not sure if this is going to quite work out. If I'm being honest. What we could do is try and move the bed. Can move the bed. Might be able to do something here. Have I got no space? Got no space in my inventory. Because I picked up like loads of decorative stuff that I was going to decorate with. I haven't put them down yet. Just put this here or something. Just trying to make room. <laughs> I'm just trying to make room here. My gosh. All right, we put that in that corner. And then hopefully we can do something. That would be great. All right. So let's see where I can put this. I could move the door. So the door is something that can be moved. I don't know if they'll be able to even get in the bed there. I have no idea. Even be able to get in here don't know it says that they can maybe they just like teleport in or something <laughs> like sometimes they just like teleport into the area so maybe they can just teleport <laughs> i have no idea but that doesn't look like they can get into me but like who knows maybe i'm wrong <laughs> who cares as long as it works i guess so 38 43 is on that now so I could definitely put this person in. All right, there you go. That has definitely been improved, so that's great. And we're going to go to High Lake, turn this quest in as well. That would be really awesome. Let's go do that and we'll see if there's any more to it. We'll have to see. But yeah, I think we just got a lot of time consuming ones at the moment. Unfortunately, <laughs> I wish I picked them up earlier. I really wish I did, but that's just the way things go. All right, congratulations. Yay, there's another one. All right, get 20. Oh my God, it's another really long one. I'm going to take forever to get that many. 25 reviews, 20 reviews and 50 guests. It really just wants me to do the money, doesn't it? It wants me to get the money for the, for the story. I think that's what the game wants me to do right now. 
<laughs> we need to do that. We need to get some more monies together, definitely. But it's just going to take a couple of days, I think. Just a few days, and then I'm sure we'll get there. I'm just going to decorate in the meantime, give myself something to do. That would be great, but we're so close to the end, I can almost taste it. We're almost there. We got this. All right, so I'm just going to shimmy over here. And we're going to see what we can put down. So I brought a lot of stuff. I got this lovely, large, cozy fireplace. Look at that. That looks nice. We got, we got to have some wood for the fireplace. Right? So let's put this in, like, the corner. Right in the corner. I like that. What else have we got? A gramophone? Yes. That would look really nice in here, actually. It's looking... It's looking lovely. So 52 on the decoration for that. That's insane. I don't think we need any more in there. Let's have this like little cozy cabinet in here. And I like this little gift shop. This gift shop looks really nice. Don't you think? I kind of like want to display it so we can actually see it. So I'm going to put it there like that. That looks really cute. That looks adorable, I have to say. And we have this fireplace here. We're just going to put this like against the wall there. That's good. So decoration scroll is increasing very quickly with this. We got a, a claw machine here. Claw machine looks really cool. I have to display that so we can see it. Like so we can actually see it in the room. So I really like that. That's really nice. It's really, really cool actually. I wonder if I can display this like in a corner somewhere. I like displaying these in corners. All right, there we go. Just like that, that'll be fine. It's looking good, it's looking good. I have to say, I don't think I got too much more in the way of decoration. We got a rug here. I don't know where I can fit this. Be able to fit it in here somewhere. Be like here or something. Sure. That'd be cool. I wouldn't mind that like under, I wouldn't mind the fireplace having a rug underneath it. But I mean, I guess it's not that big of a deal, I suppose. This room didn't even need it. It's got so much on the decoration score anyway, but it's fine. This one could do with like a rug or something. Oh yeah, I forgot about the sofa. I completely forgot to craft that sofa. I don't even know if I can. Let me have a look. This sofa is what I'm trying to... I still need nails. We still don't have enough nails. Let's go and um, we'll go and check. We've got, got, got to go get some wood and some mahogany and that kind of stuff but I still got quite a lot of valuables as well so it's still quite a lot of room to to buy stuff which is really neat I have to say so let's see anything up here don't think we got too much up this way let's go over to like where where that lady lives where that lady lives there's actually quite a lot of wood up there usually but I always run out of mahogany all the time as <laughs> I use it quite a lot there we go there's a bit of mahogany up here you can tell which wood pile has mahogany in <laughs> they make it really obvious which is great because like you don't have to keep looting every single piece of wood to find what you're after you can clearly see which has the the pieces that you need which is really really handy really handy I have to say any down here nope no none of none down this way I'm stuck on the tree but that's okay let's head down a bit nope nothing over there it's a pain that they just like aren't in every single wood pile <laughs> you know that would make things a lot easier but alas it's not meant to be but even with the mahogany I still need I still need the nails too so I'm gonna have to go and check the the, the junkyard at least I got things to keep me busy sort of whilst I like get through the days so I think that's good because otherwise I'll be like really bored waiting so yeah at least there's something so that's fantastic all right let's head down this way then and see what's happening we'll see what's going on let's have a little look we got some more things to gather that's good that these have respawned come on give me some nails I really hope some spawn. I don't think they spawn every day. So it's like, it's just luck if you actually get the nails. Oh, those are screws. Not quite what I'm after, unfortunately. Man, am I even going to get any? I just don't know. Such a pain. It's just like RNG, you know? You hear it? Steel screws again. Don't think we're going to get any iron nails. No. So loads of electronic parts. Um, no, nothing there. Let's have a look. Steel screws. I don't think those count. I'm pretty sure they don't. 
I don't know. What about in this corner? I didn't get any, I don't think. No! <laughs> That's annoying. That's super duper annoying. I got loads of those screws, but I just don't have the actual nails, which is really annoying. Sometimes you just don't get lucky in this game, right? Sometimes you just don't. I still got a little while to go before we can hit the hay and get some dough together. But we're getting there, so that's good, that's good. All right, let's travel to Pine Falls. I bet you this is the last quest. I bet this 50,000 money is the last one. Just takes a little while to get all the funds together, that's all. Okay, let's see. We're gonna do a bit more decoration or something. I think that would be awesome. I think there was one room in Winterberry that I wanna spruce up as well, so we're gonna do that too. That'll be fantastic. All right. So, let's see what we can do here. So, what rooms are, like, needing decoration? 32 is not bad. 40 is not bad. I want everything over, like, I want everything on at least, like, 30. So, like, this room here could do with a little something. Just a little something. I got these books. If I get, like, a little, I could probably just get, like, a little table for this. Let's go to the little valuables box down this way. Here we go. So we want just like a little table. This little mahogany table might do. And I don't know. What else do I want? I like this coffee table. I don't know if I've used one of those before, you know. I might get one of those too. What else we got? Let's get some random shelving. And some little bits and pieces here. Let's see. I really wish you could put the incense on a table. I don't know why you can't. I just find that really weird. Really strange. Really strange. Okay. So this should help boost us that tiny bit so that we can actually, I don't know, get more score because it needs more score in there, right? So that's the plan. And I got these little, this little thing and we got a little oil lamp. Very nice. So now that's on 33. That's good. That's good. I'm actually quite happy with that. This one's on 35. This one here is on 38. I would say that these are pretty much like done. I probably don't need to do much more with these. I would say they're looking pretty good. So yeah, that's awesome. That's really good. They're all really high on stats now. So I don't need to worry. So that's fantastic. This one is on 33. Do I have anything else? Oh yeah, I got this like little book thing, which I never put down. I was gonna I was gonna put that on the table and then I like changed my mind, I guess. I don't know. Put that up there. No, that's on 34. Very nice. Very nice. I don't. I didn't build a lobby in this one. I, I kind of like it when there's like a little lobby, but I guess I was just trying to like make do with the space, but there really isn't one. There really isn't one there, unfortunately. There is like a little area here. We could maybe do something there. I don't know. Just kind of... I'm just going to kind of put some stuff in this one just for like... Just because what the hey, why not? <laughs> Let's put some, some stuff in. Let's see. I'm going to just decorate it with a little... Some lights. And some little gizmos. That would be nice. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Alright. Down in the museum. Here we go. It's so annoying where my items just go absolutely everywhere. They just don't go where I want them to go. Little light. Now we can actually see. I should put lights in every room so I can actually see better. It really is hard to see and it's really dark. Otherwise, we got this random pot. And I got this terrarium, but I don't have a table for it anymore. Let's get, like, a ton of lights. Let's get, like, a ton of lights. It can just be wall lights or something. Like, it doesn't have to be... It doesn't have to take up room. But then it just, like, would be easier to see stuff. So that would be really good. I thought there was another wall light, but maybe there's only that one. Maybe there's only this one here. So I'm just going to buy a ton of these. I have no idea where they're going. Here, I got three. So I got like two stacks. Two stacks of these. We're just going to go around. We're just going to put them all on the walls. So and it's much easier to see. Look at the difference. That really helps. <laughs> that really helps a lot. And also in the actual buildings as well. So I can see better. All right. Put a light in here. I should really be putting lights in every single area, to be honest with you. It makes things so much better. All right, one in there. 
Good stuff. Very nice. Okay, let's go upstairs and add lighting to all of these areas too. Though that room is still not finished, it will be eventually when I get the nails, if I ever do get them. <laughs> that is, but I'm sure we will. Put this one in here. Good, good stuff. Do I have more? I want more. Okay, I got one here as well. Ta-da, everything is like lit up now, so we can see everything and we can decorate even at night time without it being like super uber dark so that's great i'm gonna buy a couple of these big massive rugs because i want to put some rugs in some of these rooms this is literally just for the heck of it there's no need to put rugs in areas like this i just want to that's all just making it look nice why is it what is wrong with this there's like a dude that's like completely like glitching out and being like all weird by the door that looks nice by the door i like that okay there was another one i brought another one here we're gonna put this in in here very nice i want one in here as well i'm obsessed with the rugs in this game i really love the rugs they just look so good they look amazing i'm gonna get this huge one for the for the uh movie theater room let's do that everything looks better when you have rugs i assure you all right, here we go. That's going to go in there. Looking good. Looking good. Do you think I went a bit like overkill with the rugs? <laughs> Sir, are you okay? Sir, are you okay? What is wrong with you? Something very wrong has happened to this guy. Will that fix him? <laughs> He's literally just... I don't know. I think he like saw something scary and then he just decided to just hang on to the wall or something. <laughs> Do you think he'll just stay there forever? <laughs> like, I don't know. Are people coming down here? People are coming. There, there is people getting stuck in walls. Like, everywhere. Like, what the heck is happening? Oh my gosh. I've never seen them like do stuff like that before. I need to get lights down there as well. It's super uber dark down there. At least people are using it. So that like, that's good to know. So that's the first time I've actually seen people down there. So that's really nice. Okay. So let's put some lights down here so we can see exactly what's happening. We can see all the glitchiness in all its glory. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Woohoo. All right. There we go looking better they were down there in the dark poor dudes <laughs> and they probably had no idea why nothing was lit up probably super confused or something i don't know all right yeah everything looks great the the place looks amazing oh yeah but we're gonna go back to winterberry and do that that um there was a building that didn't have much in it also let's collect all our you know valuables because i actually used quite a lot of valuables up so let's grab some more of those i got one in like every single region so it's really really fast to get to get valuables now so with that i just went up to nearly 2k with that so yeah we just shot up that was good i'm on 35,000 as well okay we can go to bed so let's do that and get some money together and see what see what we're at i'm not going to get any of these quests done for a while okay i just only went up like a thousand that time unfortunately but that's okay all right let's just shove some people in the bed and breakfasts oh man i got a lot of those types today and i just can't fit those in that sucks well it's fine i'm sure it won't set me back that much so we'll probably be okay i think these can just go in anywhere like these are all really low and I got really high buildings so so I'm just gonna just gonna chuck those in fantastic so I just gotta sort out this one and this one 53 yes you can go in there the rest I can just dump anywhere that should be fine should be good all right there we go in you go fantastic that's that one done yep that's high lake done now to do this one what else we got uh we want to avoid the the eaters and the hygienes the rest can go in though the rest should be fine i need to do this room this is why i want to go to winterberry to do this room to do bedroom number four so it's really low the rest is fine the rest is fantastic but just that room for some reason hasn't been hasn't been done properly so i need to pay another visit 
to that one. 36. Oh, man. I might have to increase the rooms just slightly at, at um, that area too. Because it's looking really good over here. So I like I feel quite confident with the, the stats on my rooms um, in this area. But Winterberry has seen better days from the looks of it. <laughs> so that's a pain. All right. So what are we doing with you? 37. Yes, I could put you in here. Yeah, we'll put you in there. 25 and 25, 28. Yes, we got some really high buildings here, I have to say. It's great. 53, this is a lavish type. He can go in there. Good stuff. 44, that's really high. Oh, it's one point out. That's just evil. <laughs> so evil, so evil. 25, 22, fantastic. Who else? I got one more person to put in. 38, 27. Right. Done. Done and dusted. Everybody has been put in. So that's great. All right. Let's go and just like decorate a little bit. Then I don't know. I might just zoom forward a couple of days so that we can. I might just zoom forward a couple of days so, so that we can just like get on with the main story because I don't really have anything to do. I'm just kind of wandering around aimlessly, if I'm being honest. There's like a tiny bit of decoration to do. But other than that, like, I really feel like I don't have much to do. So, yeah, I think we're getting to the end of this game now. Definitely. Let's see what else I got going on here. Oh, have I got anything new here? The trendy shelves or something? Why not? Some pots. And I think I've used like all the, all the items here. If I'm being honest, toolbox, little tiny little guy, rocking chair. I think I actually have used that rocking chair, but only once. So I haven't used that one much at all. So the room we're looking for, it's on like 20. It's probably upstairs. I would say it's probably upstairs, most likely. Yeah, it's probably up here somewhere. This one here, oh, this one here is on 26. Really low, really low. It looks like I might need to get some prestige because they're saying that my bed and breakfast is cheap. Say what? Have you seen the place? Are you seeing the same place that I'm seeing? <laughs> I think it looks really good. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I have no idea. All right, we got a little pot. Just put it in there. I'm just going to increase the decoration a tiny bit. That's the plan. Sheep right in the middle. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. I don't really have anywhere to put it. I'll put something else in, I think. Let's see. Does cabinet go in somewhere? I'm just gonna slot it in there. Just because why not? That's on 44 now. That's good. I guess we could just like increase things a little bit in like this room or something. Just make it a bit higher. Make my life a bit easier. There we go. I don't think I really got much else to put in there. Oh, these books. These books are just like, they just keep... I don't know why. They just like, I don't seem to be putting them in anywhere. Let's let's make a little... We're going to get a little table for that and we're going to put that in at long last. That book has been wanting to get housed for a while. <laughs> going to make sure it gets a little, a little place. All right. Where are they? There they are. There you go. Nice. Everything's looking great. Super fancy. Super fancy. I feel like... Oh, this one's really low. Holy smokes, that's low. We'll do that one as well because that room's super duper low. All right, let's see. I'm going to get some kind of... Some kind of rug. I don't know which one would fit in there. So I just got like a couple or something. Okay. Let's try this one at the back here. It's no good having a room that low, after all. Okay, that worked out really well. That fit in. I wasn't sure if it was going to, but it does. So, so that's good. I brought this little plant. It's already got like tons of plants in there. <laughs> you get more. More plants the merrier, right? Okay. I think that could be everything, you know? I think that could be everything. That's looking a lot better. All the rooms are looking much, much better. Higher stats all around. I feel like this room is really big. And it probably could do with like... It's got... It's so high. I don't need to add anything. But like I could. <laughs> if I wanted to. I guess. 
Is there anything I haven't brought? I feel like I've brought every single item from this now. I feel like I've seen everything. I really like these bears. I'm gonna buy some more bears just to put in somewhere. They're expensive, but it'll be nice. It'll be nice. All right, I'm gonna put those bears in. Where did it go? That's the question. I actually don't know. I think I did buy it, didn't I? Did I not buy it? I thought I clicked it. What happened? I don't know. Oh, I don't have enough money. <laughs> I thought I did. I was just going to blow all my cash on it. So I think I'm just going to stop the episode here for now. Just a little decoration improvement sort of episode. Um, I think this could be the last one I do on that. And yeah, we will definitely get the coins and we'll do, we'll finish the story or do the next part of the story in the next episode. It's been a while. I think that, you know, it's about time. I've like I'm pretty much at end game like I've built up all the bread and breakfasts as much as I want to I don't think I really want to do too much more with them so now it's just the case of grinding out the money so I'll get on that I hope you enjoyed this episode though thank you so much for watching I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my patreons and members for supporting the channel thank you so much I really appreciate it and if you are interested in donating there will be a link in the description box below to my Patreon page. Alternatively, you can also click the big join button underneath every video that I create to become a member of the channel. I also have a dedicated live streaming channel that you can find in the description box below or on my channel homepage. I regularly live stream over on that channel and it would be super cool if you could stop by sometime and say hello. I would really love that. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time.